Hello everyone, and welcome back to Scribblenauts Unlimited. I am Supremacist, as always, and today we're going to be continuing on where we left off. We now have the lovely globe, which allows us to travel anywhere in the world. So I believe I will be travelling to Inkwell High today. I like going to school. Off we go! Welcome to Inkwell High. That's a pretty rubbish playground. He's hungry. He doesn't want to do PE. Bully. And I've super saiyaned in. Alright, so what's your problem? There probably should be something to salute at the top of this pole. Hmm. How about underwear? That's... okay. <laughs> he's saluting pants. Mind you, they're polka dots, so that's all good. And he's got a trumpet, yay! What's all this about? Place a critter for the class in me. Okay, um... King Cobra. That's always a very safe classroom animal, I think. Yeah, in you go. I, I like how the, how the snake has a wheel. I want to make everyone laugh. Let's give you a funny hat. That's hardly a funny hat. <laughs> Fair enough. Small steel cage. What's up with this? Experiment in mad science. Let's do that. But first... Let's change you a bit. Let's make you an old student. <laughs> Amused old girl. An old... Uh... Mutant girl. There we go. That should do. <laughs> Ew. I'm sorry. Let's start. I get our star right. It's the annual school science fair. Help the student win by creating a life form. First, give the paramecium a source of nutrition. Okay. Uh, let's... Well, whenever I'm feeling hungry, I just create chicken nuggets. Oh, hicken nuggets, apparently. There we go. Have my chicken nuggets. It needs some help heat to make it grow. Um, fire, fire, heat. Ooh, it's a blob monster. It would need. Hmm. How about a butt? A bust. Here you go. Um, it ate it, but nothing's happened. How about I give you an arm? <laughs> now it's really starting to grow. It, I should help integrate it into society. Let's give it a fedora. There you go. Okay. Um, it ate the fedora. Uh, how about a head? Nope, nothing's happening. This is a tricky one. What can help it integrate into society? How about a gun? Nope, still not taking it. about glasses? Uh, 
Okay, let's empty you up of everything. Oh! Uh, okay, I need to name this abomination. How about a D? E? A B? Oh, that's a bit squiffy. You see where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. We're going to call this abomination Debbie. Yes, that child agreed. It said yay, it said yay Debbie. Ah. Now what do I need to do? And flip the switch. Throw. Oh. Interact. Yay, we win! Experiment in mad science completed. Hooray! So we've created an abomination. How about... I feel like doing a bit of... No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted the notepad. <laughs> How about we get a giant friendly rat in the classroom? Because everyone likes that. Oh, it's a friendly rat. Okay, what's up with you? It's not safe for me to get out of this locker with the bully there. Don't hurt him. Okay. How about I make him a frightened bully? <laughs> it's a nerd! It's my nerdy alter ego. Maxwell's brother Poindexter. Very original. <laughs> oh, apparently I was told that I can alter Maxwell. So, let's do that. Let's make him... Invincible Flying Super fast Um Invisible Maxwell. Let's see how that does. Yes, I'm invisible. And I can fly! All the challenge of this game has gone. But I think I might take away the invisible invisibility. There we go, what's up with you? Protect me from the dodgeballs. How about armour? I don't want it on me. <laughs> armour turn somehow turns into a football helmet. That goes well. What's up with you? Play something in my pot to serve the students for lunch. Okay. How about a blue zebra? Yes, we're bringing it back. Sorry, blue zebra. Why won't you go in the pot? Oh my god, I am flying the blue zebra now. I am glorious. Look at me. Okay, uh... What will I do? What will go well for students in a pot? How about... Uh... Velociraptor? Can't do a C, apparently. There we go, that's how you spell it. Uh... Can you please go in the pot? Oh, no, it just wants to kill the old lady. Oh, let's just go for a chicken then. Or a, or a horse, there we go. Horse meat scandal.
Nope, the lady's attached to the horse. Sorry, horsey, you're going away. Something to go in the pot. Let's just put a burger in there. Yes, the burger made an even better burger. Oh. The, the poor kid is sick. Uh, let's make him healthy again. Because that's the kind of person we are. Here you go. Have my heart. Thank you, Zebra. What's up with you, dear boy? This playground is lame. It needs some more interesting attractions. How about a log flume? I always love log flumes. A leg... a log figure. A low figure. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting from that. How about a roller coaster? There we go. Oh, you were just bringing all that stuff with you. Fair enough. Is there anything else to do here? Should be. Oh, I want to meet someone in the middle of their career. How about... Superman! He's always in the middle of his career. Yeah, okay, how about just an ordinary salesman? <laughs> um, what the hell just happened? An old, muted, amused millionaire. Nice! I want to make everyone laugh. I thought I helped you with that. Okay, let's just remove your hat. Because you obviously don't like it. Let's do... a red nose. Because we're going back to clowns, apparently. Well, let's just make you funny. There we go. Oh. Yes! Level complete. Right, now let's go somewhere else. I think, let's go to, let's have a bit of culture. The Vergil Gallery. Welcome to the Vergil Gallery. There I am. Sorry guys, I think I've got to turn down the music. Oh, the, the music already is turned down. Let's turn on the sound effects a bit as well. It's a bit loud. There we go. And resume. So what's up with you? One of these artifacts is a fraud. Help me figure out which. Let's give you a magnifying glass. Here you go. She just got rid of it. She just threw it away. Just like, get rid, go away, you. I don't want you. And now we have a star right. Help Maxwell provide art that will be sure to please patrons of the museum. I can do that. Oh yeah. Oh look at me, I'm all artsy. Was that a transformer or a terminator? Is that with you? You're a mecha. Place thing inside the frame that I'd find artistic. How about a toaster? Because every mecha loves a toaster. Nope, doesn't want the toaster. How about just another robot? Yay, the, 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 ro the giant transforming robot has contributed to our grid museum. Ah, it's Medusa! Hello! Um. 
How about a... How about a woman? You'll find that artistic. I knew it! I knew it, a woman would find... A, a Gorgon would find a woman artistic. Oh my gosh, it's uh, the guy from the Nightmare on... Um, I don't, can't remember the name of the film, but with the Headless Horseman. Oh, he's a headless horseman. Place Nightmare into a frame that I would find artistic. Well, obviously we're going to give you a horse. He loves it. The last patron is here. Um, are you Miss Claus by any chance? Yes, you are. How about a giant cookie? Can't spell today. Yes, the giant cookie wins. Right, the star is over there. Running, running, running. I'm gonna beat Mrs. Claus. Oh yeah, finicky patrons completed. I now have five star rights, and I'm still on my blue zebra. I love it. I need something to connect these bones together. How about duct tape? There you go, we're falling, fall outing it here. He created a dinosaur. Help me get past the guard and the security camera so I can take back my diamond. Let's make you... Disguised. Ah, uh, he's got he's got one of those fake noses on. Arctic heist. You're a security guard. Nothing good with you. Oh, that's my brother. Hello, brother. Girl in the painting looks lonely. Would you like to go in there? Nope. Obviously, you don't. Let's create Maxwell to go into the painting. Oh, that's an evil Maxwell. <laughs> Evil Maxwell is stuck in the painting forever. Ah! Oh. Then a what? Xerophobic dazed watercolor soccer player. Where did that come from? Interesting. Uh, I think I might need to get off my horse now. My zebra, I mean. Let's put you away. Can I go upstairs, please? Yes, I can. There we go. What do I need to do with you? Finish my wax exhibit. Let's give you a ship. There we go. I wanted a ship. Okay. There we go. That's a Viking ship. Columbus wouldn't have been on it. I'm, I'm calling out all of these historical inaccuracies here. It's just... I'm just totally sucked out of this museum right now. Cleopatra, let's give you a pyramid. Yes, the landmark. <laughs> the, the, the Sphinx is wearing the... The Sphinx is wearing the pyramid as a hat. It's like, do you guys like my new hat? Yes. Hello, Roosevelt? No, Franklin. That's the one. Uh, let's give you a... Light. The toy. Here you go. The keys to success. And what about you? You're George Washington. Let's give you... The White House. Nope, that doesn't like that. How about... Uh, a constitution. Here you go. He's just chopping down the tree with... Ooh, level completed. Hooray. 
Right, so I'm thinking I might just get one more star right, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Right, where to next? Hmm, I'm thinking the capital city firehouse. That'll be fun. Or have I done anywhere else? Oh, yes, the St. Asterix Hospital. Let's, let's finish off the hospital, and then we'll end this episode. Up I go. Hello, clowns. Hello, everyone I helped before. Oh, you guys aren't riding them anymore. Right, what can I do for you? Yep, that helicopter really did explode. I forgot what I'm supposed to be delivering. Can you help me? Sure. So, storks deliver babies. And what babies are cute? Well, puppies. So, let's give him a puppy to deliver. Bye bye! Have fun with the puppy! Ah, the hospital is completed. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for another Scribblenauts. Uh, next time I will be going to Hyphen Heights and the Capital City Firehouse. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. This has been Scribblenauts. I thank you all for watching, and goodbye.